Hello everyone, my name is Jake, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make my personal favorite brush in Adobe Illustrator. I usually use this brush for inking sketches or for making hair or uh, that types of stuff. It's a tapered brush, so it goes from thin to thick to back down to thin. Uh, for example, if I were to draw a box right here, See, so it goes from thin to thick, back to thin, go for a triangle, or uh, let's see, like a, a line. It's pretty basic. Um, it looks really nice, in my opinion, um, and it's pretty easy to make. So to make this brush, I'm going to close out of that, we are going to make a new layer, grab a rectangle here, and make sure it has a fill of black and it has no stroke and we are going to make actually a perfect square by holding down shift and oh uh, yeah uh, that's probably a good size all right and now um, if you don't have transform uh, anywhere you can just go into window and make sure transform is checked and you're going to go over here to where it says rotate and rotate that 45 degrees. And now with your direct select tool, we are going to select this top point and drag it all the way down. About right there. And we're going to zoom in or zoom in and do the same thing for this one. We're actually going to make this even thinner. You're just going to want to get this as close as possible to the uh, center point there. So yeah, that's pretty close. Um, so now what you're going to do is with your selection tool, you're going to select the uh, line thing you just made and go into your brushes tab and hit new brush and you're going to, want to go down to art brush and call it whatever you want i'll just leave it as art brush one uh, for width you're going to want to hit pressure and change this first one to 42 percent and this second one to 82 percent and for brush scale options check scale proportionately Direction, leave it at left for right. And for colorization method, hit tints. And for overlap, change it to do not adjust corners and folds. And everything else should be fine. Hit OK. And now you should have your new brush selected, which there's another one, um, which I made earlier. We are going to check our paintbrush tool and start drawing. And as you can see, we have that nice tapered look. So yeah, it's a pretty basic uh, paintbrush, but it's, in my opinion, very versatile and I love using it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys found it helpful. Uh, be on the lookout for more Adobe and other design related tutorials in the future. See you guys in the next video. Peace.